Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm going to show you what's new in June security update for Pixel devices. So it's now downloading on my Pixel 4XL and as you see here the size is 131 megabytes and this is not only a security update but it's also June feature drop. So let's check what's new with June security update and feature drop but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. Before showing you the new changes, the first thing I noticed on my Pixel 4 XL that the phone feels a lot smoother now, especially when I'm scrolling. So for example, when I open the Play Store and scroll really fast, the phone feels a lot smoother now. Previously, when I scroll the same way, sometimes I get dropped frames or a little bit of lag, but this is no longer the case. And also here in Google Feeds, when you scroll, you're going to feel the same thing. And finally, when you open applications, you're going to feel they are responding faster and they open faster than before. So please let me know in the comments if you share the same experience. Now let's move on to the new changes. And the first change is under the clock app. The first change here, the tabs at the top are now moved towards the bottom and you no longer can swipe between them. But you can simply use your finger to tap on the icons at the bottom to switch between the tabs. And the second change here is the bedtime tap. The bedtime feature is not something new, but Google added a lot of new options that you can choose from now. So let's tap on get started. And as you see, there is a complete redesign here. Uh, you can set uh, the wake up time by tapping on the clock or you can use the plus and minus buttons. Here you can choose the days, which is pretty straightforward. And also there is a new option here called sunrise alarm. This feature was already available for Pixel devices only if you are charging the phone using the Pixel stand. Before the alarm rings by 15 minutes, the display will light up gradually as the time goes by, giving you the sunrise effect. But after June security update, the feature is now part of the clock app and it doesn't require the Pixel stand or even plugging your phone to the charger and I'm gonna give it a try to see if it's gonna help me wake up in the morning. And you also get this dismiss button at the bottom of the display if you want to dismiss your alarm before it even rings. And when you go to sounds here you can choose normal sounds or you can go to the YouTube music tab and choose any song you want from your uh, library and also if you have a Spotify you will get a third tab here to choose your songs from. Uh, and then you have the vibrate option to turn it on or off and finally, you can add uh, th this uh, whole alarm to your Google Assistant routine. And then when you tap on next, it's going to ask you for the, the bedtime itself, when you're going to go to sleep, and you're going to either tap the clock and the same thing. Uh, also, you can set the reminder to get a notification 15 minutes before your bedtime, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, one hour, or you can simply turn it off. And here it says the bedtime mode. And when you tap on it, it's going to take you to settings to choose between grayscale and do not disturb. And once you are happy with the choices, tap on done and you will get even more options. The first option you have here is called see recent bedtime activity. And this option will track two things. First, the screen time and also the time you didn't use your phone. And when you tap on continue, it's going to ask you for the access to three things. First, daily app usage, motion and light detection during your scheduled bedtime and also the time zone history. So it's going to get the data from two sources. First, the digital well-being. It's going to give you the daily app usage and the motion and light sensors will only work during your bedtime schedule to detect if your phone is being used or not. So if your phone is remained uh, motionless in a dark room, that's, that's when it will start counting the time only when you are within your bedtime schedule. And finally, the time zone history. And when you tap on allow, you get the graph of your phone usage. The orange means you are without the phone, I'm sorry, you, it means that you are on the phone and the blue one means you are in bed. And when you tap on this bubble, you get even more information about your usage. And here you get the total times without your phone and with your phone. And the second option you have here is called listen to sleep sounds. And when you tap on choose a sound, it's going to ask you again, would you like to use YouTube music or Spotify? Or you can simply dismiss the notification. And if you are not going to use any of the two services, you already have three sounds available to choose from. One is called waves, deep space and contemplation. So for example, waves. You have deep space. And you have contemplation. Or you can also choose again YouTube Music or Spotify 
if you would. So that's actually pretty much the second option. And the third option here is called see your upcoming events. And when you tap on continue, it will get access to, it will ask for access to your calendar and it will show you the upcoming events for tomorrow if you want to check them or you can even open the calendar to check more information if you want. Next, the recorder app. Now it's integrated with Google Assistant so you can ask your assistant to start recording your voice memos. So let me show you an example here. Start recording my meeting. So as you see here, the recorder app is now working and it started recording my voice memo. And I'm gonna name this a test and hit save. You can also ask your assistant to show you the recordings about a specific topic. For example, show me recordings about test. So here's a voice memo I have that's called test and it's playing, it's now showing me the recording so I can play it straight away. And even if you use the specific word and you ask your assistant to show you the recording that includes this specific word or sound, you can do the same thing as well. Next, the personal safety app. And here we have a couple of new options. And the first one is called safety check. This feature will simply allow the phone to check on you and to make sure you are okay after a specific period of time. So for example, you have here the first choice, which is the reason. Uh, are you walking alone? Are you going for a run? taking transportation, hiking, or you can write your own activity. And once you are done with this one, you can, you can choose now the duration of the activity you are doing, like let's say 30 minutes or 15 minutes and so on. And once you tap next, here it's gonna show you the emergency contacts you already have. So you can pick one of them or you can pick all of them if you want. And the, here you have also another option called notify contacts when you turn on safety check. So once you turn on the feature, they might also get a message to let them know that you have a safety check turned on. And once you tap on turn on, that will simply uh, set a timer for 15 minutes and the phone will notify you after 15 minutes asking you if you are okay or not. If you didn't respond to this message, those emergency contacts will be notified and also the, uh, the, the phone will call the emergency service if you need any help and you can turn it off from here as well. Here is gonna ask you to put the reason why you want to turn it off. So you can type whatever you want, that you are safe, for example, and it's gonna turn it off and that's it. The second option here is under settings. Now you have crisis alerts, and when you turn that on, you will be notified about any natural disasters and public emergencies affecting your area. Also, the application has been redesigned and it looks cleaner and better than before. There are also a long list of improvements and bug fixes as you see now on the screen and I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to check them yourself. And the most important one here is the improvements for the adaptive battery and I know a lot of people had issues with their Pixel device's battery life so that should be something to get excited for. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the changes I managed to get my hands on in June 2020 security update for Pixel devices. So please let me know in the comments what do you think about the update and I hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.